welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya and today we are going to go over the tea blends that we have made all winter, all winter long um, in preparation for the uh, farmer's market. And so I'm really excited. Um, I spent uh, quite a deal, quite a lot of time on them um and i bounced some of my ideas off mom and we came out with the final ingredients and so i wanted to share you guys share those with you guys along with their names and so right now these are available will be available on sunday um for the farmer's market but for you guys we wanted to know if you guys were interested in um buying the teas um we've heard accounts in the comments we're not so sure how serious your comments were but you were like <laughs> if you guys make it available we will buy um and so we're going to open a poll to figure out how readily um our entire following base would be to buy and it would be kind of shipped in this so it's like this a little corrugated box and it would be kind of just um, there would be like tissue paper and all the works but just so you can see how it would fit and you would get like the entire set and we haven't we haven't decided on a price yet, but um, we do know that we do want to offer it to you guys. And we haven't figured out what platform or if we're going to use a platform, but we do want to know if you guys would be interested so that we could go further into what that would entail. So it would ship just like this. Um, we'll do a poll on the community tab. Yes, and we would localize it to the U.S. I'm sorry, but um, just, just ideas. Um, and so... Now that we've gotten that out of the way and let us know too because we can just do paypal or something like that but and these, then just ship it yeah. and then just ship it but while we were making them we had to make we have to make a lot of them and um our harvest seems like it's going to be huge so we were like oh maybe we can open it up to everybody okay so the first one which was the first one that we came up with last year for the selling season and um it wasn't supposed to be a tea blend that we brought to the farmer's market but we had some in excess and when we took it to the farmer's market it sold out that day it sold and, out in 15 minutes and it was all the all of that tea that we actually had for the rest of the four months so we spent <laughs> these four months getting it back um and it's called season's joy up, up, up. It's called Seasons Joy. Back up a Joy. little bit. Okay. Seasons Joy. Um, and it, we named it originally, the name was Summer Fever. I'm not sure. It was Summer Fever. I really liked the name, but then it was Autumn by the time it was the Farmer's Market, so we decided it's called Autumn Joy. Um, and then it slowly became seasoned joy because we realized that most of the herbs were taken from different parts of the season and we were like, it gave joy all around. Um, and it is the tea blend, so that's what it says here. And it contains lemon balm, lavender, anise hyssop, calendula, lemongrass, chamomile, and marigold flowers. Um, and so you can understand when we were like, we don't have any it was because we were missing like one ingredient or maybe three ingredients and so we had to keep planting it so that we could have it again for the farmers market so that season's joy it is a favorite the next one was the one that we came up with when we were doing the foot soaks because we smelled the peppermint foot soaks and mom and i looked at each other and we were like i have a tea idea and we said it almost at the same time but I said it first, so <gasps> I definitely named it. Okay, fine. This one she actually named. Mother named this tea. And this tea is called I Meant It. <laughs> so I meant it, but I meant it. <laughs> you want to show it to them? Yeah. Oh, there you go. And then this is the back of it. Right. And so it is spearmint. Mojito mint, strawberry mint, peppermint, apple mint, and chocolate mint. So it's all of the mints all in it, and it's like a blend of all the mints. It is really good. It smells amazing. Um, and again, the reason why we didn't have it last year is because we started the season towards the end of the year. 
Um, and we didn't know of this tea idea until during the four months when we were off from the farmer's market. Um, the next tea idea that we came up with, I believe, was limoncello, which is... Back up a little bit. Okay. Limoncello. And it is lemon balm, lemon grass, lemon verbena, lemon basil, lemon peel, and lemon thyme. So it is all things lemon. Um, I will tell you, it tastes just like lemonade. Yeah. Um, I know, <laughs> I know, I'm not supposed to say that, but it tastes just like lemonade. Um, and it has such this wide variety of flavors, even though these are all lemon herbs. Like the lemon grass gives it this. Um, citrus type of vibe even though lemongrass doesn't actually contain citrus it just smells like it then the lemon pill for some reason we said smells like lemon pound cake I don't know why um, and then the lemon balm is our base so for those of you who don't know a base of a tea is basically the the carrier ingredient that basically makes everything be able to shine and lemon balm is our carrier our base because it is a mint it is a part of the mint family. It just smells like lemon. And the another name for it is Melissa. So it's lemon balm and... <laughs> and so that was the tea. Um, we have um, we have like some thyme and all of this came from our garden, yeah. except for the lemon peel. Our lemon trees have not yet yielded lemons you yet. have two lemon trees but they don't have lemons on them yet they, they have, have blossoms yes which yeah. by the way might i add if you don't have a lemon tree just get the lemon tree for the blossoms they smell amazing they smell better than oh. most flowers yes oh it's amazing most non-fruit you, you get what i mean <laughs> okay the next tea idea that we came up with we wanted to come up with uh, sleepy time tea. We wanted to come up with something that was like restful, calming, and if you've watched my videos for a long amount of time, you would have noticed that I did a couple, like a little mini series on calming teas. Um, and in that was like lavender and it was chamomile, and so I was looking up different ways other people combined it, and then I found my own combination. And that tea is called I'm Done. So. Back up a little bit. Okay. So basically, I'm done. The day is over. I would like to go to sleep. I'm done. Um, <laughs> and it is lavender, chamomile, sage, and blackberry leaves. So um, the sage, it gives it more like um, like a like a flavor that you like it tastes good, but you can't really tell what it comes from. Very That's earthy. Sage. Earthy. Um, and the blackberry leaves smell like phenomenal. We didn't realize that they would smell like that. They don't exactly have a blackberry flavor, no. but they do have like an herbal flavor. So they kind of add to the tea, but mostly it smells floral. It smells like the lavender. It smells like the chamomile, which all came from our garden. Um, and so you don't need very much of this at all. You probably need a teaspoon or even less than that. And you can still get the flavor because of how concentrated a chamomile flower and a lavender bud are. Also, not to interrupt you, but just to let you all know, you can probably steep on that same um, teaspoon twice. Yes, I did do that. I tested it because I made Oshi spicy on camera. Um, she was not the tea that we made next, but now that we've mentioned it, um, we have a, sorry, we have a caffeinated virgin, version and a non-caffeinated version, and um, this one's the caffeinated version, and the difference is one has black tea and one doesn't, and we did that because there are people like me who cannot have caffeinated tea, which is why I kind of specialize in herbal teas. Um, and so the other ingredients, if you haven't watched that video, are cardamom, black pepper, cloves, bay leaves, nutmeg, cinnamon, fennel, and black tea. But the non-caffeinated without the black tea. Um, and I used, give or take, a teaspoon of the tea for the coffee machine. And then I decided to steep it twice. I made it, it went all the way through, and then I decided to make a whole new cup with that. I probably could have done a, 
I probably could have done a third, but I was really like surprised that the flavor didn't even change at all. It didn't get watered down, it was just as strong. And I guess it's because the this, these ingredients did not come from our garden. We did get them from our local Spice Bazaar, but um, they were like really strong and very fragrant. strong. And so we know that his things are fresh. That's why we always go get all of our spices from him and we currently found a another spice guy too who is from his family is from Lebanon and he has incredible spices too and that's a mom and pop store too so we're exa excited about partnering with them and we have our last tea and she is called honey child <laughs> honey child so is it I don't know if you can see. Okay. Um, and this one is dear to my heart. This one is special um, because I'll try to kind of show you the back of it. But like the flavor profile of this tea is like amazing. I feel like I have a favorite tea. Don't tell the others. But I have a favorite <laughs> tea. Um, this one is bee balm, marigold, and calendula flowers, orange peel, chamomile stems, and saffron. And the tea smells amazing we said it smells like an orange blossom cookie um, the goal of this tea was to get the honey taste and for those of you who don't know bee balm tastes like honey mm -hmm. and then chamomile stems <clears throat> taste like a green apple um, actual chamomile flowers taste like like a granny smith apple like a crunchy one but the stems kind of have a little sour taste and so they kind of helped with my um, like my pursuit for honey. Um, the marigold and calendula flowers contribute to the color, which makes it look more like honey. And so does the saffron. But the saffron give it that yellow um, color. Yeah. And the, the <clears throat> orange peel also contributed to the color um, and the taste. But it tastes amazing, guys. It smells amazing. And I'm really excited to take all of these to the farmer's market and i'm really excited to hear what you guys think about do you guys want to be able to have it mailed to you like do you want to help to support um my little local like a little local business our little local business um but just let us know in the poll but also let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video please like share subscribe and press the bell for notifications bye guys Thank you.